Welcome back to Divinity Said. This is going to be a follow-up video on the Sandra Birchmore case. If you are unfamiliar, Sandra Birchmore died in her Canton apartment. We went over it during the Karen Reed trial because my theory on John O'Keefe's death, the police officer who died on another police officer's lawn, is that he got too close to asking questions about what was going on in the Sandra Birchmore case. Um, I think that Sandra was also asking questions or at least getting too many lights on the darkness that is Stoughton. And really, it sounds like just Massachusetts in general, they sound like they are the most corrupt, most disgusting group of police officers to ever be police officers. Uh, that's just my personal opinion. Um, Back during the Karen Reed trial, this was more of a conspiracy theory. There was a civil case opened into the what they ruled a suicide of Sandra Birchmore. The best development in the whole history of ever has just come out today with regard to all of that. And it is this former Massachusetts police officer arrested in connection with the murder of Sandra Birchmore. He was arrested and Better than that, let's just read the indictment together. It says, Count one, killing a witness or victim. Between on or about March 7th, 2012, and on or about March, April 1st, 2021, so for 10 years, defendant Matthew Farrell was a sworn officer of the Stoughton Police Department in Massachusetts, in his capacity as an officer, Farwell also served as an instructor for the Police Explorer Academy, which was a vocational education program for young local youth. The Police Explorers was designed to enable youth participants to learn about law enforcement careers. Sandra Birchmore was born May 1997 in or around March 2010. Sandra Birchmore applied to be a participant in the Police Explorers. At that time, Birchmore was 12 years old. She began participating in the program in or around the spring of 2010 and remained in the program through in or around 2016. Prior to 2012, Farewell as a Police Explorer volunteer was a Police Explorer volunteer. He became an instructor when he started working for the Police Department in 2012. Before Birchmore attained the age of 16, Farwell engaged in sexual intercourse and other sex acts with Birchmore. Farwell's, Farwell's sexual conduct with Birchmore continued until early 2021. The Stoughton Police Department requires employees, including police officers, to accurately report their time and attendance in order to receive wages and overtime. During some of the shifts when Farwell was supposed to be performing his duties as a police officer, he was instead engaging in sex acts with Birchmore. He failed to disclose that information to the police department and he took steps to conceal his conduct with other department employees. In or around December 2020, Birchmore learned that she was pregnant. Birchmore told Farwell that he was the father of the child. In or about January 20th, 2021, Birchmore's friend called the Stoughton Police Department and told the department employee that Farewell had been having sex with Birchmore. Shortly thereafter, Stoughton Police Department employee told Farwell about it. February 1st, 2021, Farwell killed Birchmore by strangulation. Shortly thereafter, Farwell staged Birchmore's Canton, Massachusetts apartment to make it appear as if Birchmore had committed suicide. Count one, the grand jury charges. The grand jury alleges and incorporates by reference the allegations in paragraph one through eight of this indictment. He did kill Sandra Birchmore, a person known to the grand jury with malice, a forethought, willfully, deliberately, maliciously, and with premeditation, and with the intent to prevent the communication by any person to a law enforcement officer of information relating to the commission or possible commission of a federal offense to wit commission or possible commissions of a federal offense of deprivation of rights under color of law in violation of the constitution under coercion and enticement and wire fraud. Wait, what is this? I've never read this before. Farrell did kill Sandra with the intent to prevent the communication by her to law enforcement of information relating to the commission of or possible commission of a federal offense 
possible commission of the federal offense of deprivation of rights, coercion or enticement, and wire fraud. So wire fraud might have happened to, I don't understand what coercion and enticement. All in violation of Title 18. Okay. Maybe I need to look this up. I can't highlight it. So it's 18 USC. <clears throat> so here is the first violation, coercion and enticement. Whoever knowingly persuades, induces, entices, or coerces any individual to travel in interstate or foreign commerce to engage in prostitution or in any acti sexual activity for which any person can be charged with a criminal offense or attempts to do so shall be fined under this title in prison. Whoever knowingly persuades... And da -da 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 -da. Let's see. Let me go back to this real quick. This said commission or possible commission of 18 B. Okay, let's look at B. So that was, that B is what was charged with. Whoever using the mail or any facility or means of interstate or foreign commerce or with the special maritime or territorial jurisdiction within the U.S., basically, they knowingly persuade, induce, entice, or co coerce any individual who has not attained the age of 18 to engage in prostitution or any acti sexual activity for which any person can be charged with a criminal offense or attempt to do so, or attempts to do so shall be fined under this. Okay, so what was it? It's not this. We know Sandra was over 18 at the time she was killed. Are they charging him with the relation? Okay, let's keep. Well, I already read it. And wire fraud, 1343. Let's look at that. <clears throat> let's see what this says. Whoever having, let's see if there's any. Okay, whoever having devised or intending to devise any scheme or artifice to defraud, obtain money or property, false fraudulent pretenses, promises. That's weird. Wire fraud. Whoever having basically do fraud or obtain money or property by lying any writings signs signals pictures or sounds for the purpose of executing such scheme so he lied to her somehow to make maybe he was trying to get her to have an abortion maybe that's what's happening here This is interesting. I'm assuming I'm totally guessing on that. Okay. So he killed Sandra Birchmore to prevent the communication to law enforcement relating to sex trafficking of underage girls and trying to intimidate her through lying somehow. I don't know. That's how I read it. And this makes sense because I think that John O'Keefe was asking questions. Like, because he had switched out to the sex offender unit as soon as, or sex crimes or whatever, when he became the guardian of his niece and nephew. And so from beat cop to this, 
when Sandra gets killed, the community was like, no way did she suicide because they knew about this relationship. The cops had already been reprimanded for all of this. So when she died, people were like, no way. Officer Lank was the first one in there. This just smells to high hell. I think that O'Keefe, as an officer, if nothing else, was asking questions. And so they lured him in that night to shut him up. That's my full thought on the whole thing. Anyways, that's what's happening with Sandra Birchmore. He, M Matthew Farwell is a child molesting pedophile who took advantage of a person, a very vulnerable person, if you know Sandra's story, um, when he should have been and could have been anything but the predator he turned out to be. So the fact that he has been indicted and arrested is wonderful. Um, in this case, this, this press conference is about one young woman who was, we allege, was killed by a Stoughton police officer, Matthew Farwell. Mr. Farwell, it is alleged in these court papers, started to lose his patience, lose his temper, and the six foot four inch Mr. Farwell started to be physically violent with four foot ten inch Senator Birchmore. And Senator Birchmore told her friends that Mr. Farwell had pushed her and shoved her and put her in a chokehold. She was scared. And during that same time, Mr. Farwell was allegedly planning Santa Birchmore's murder. For the first time, he requested a key to her apartment. And she told friends that he was oddly inspecting the apartment and looking at the closet, including the closet that she was found dead in front of. And then it all came to a head on February 1st, 2021. Mr. Farwell went over to her apartment that evening and he strangled Santa Birchmore to death. That's the allegation in this case. And he used his knowledge and experience as a law enforcement officer to stage her death to look like a suicide. If convicted on this charge, Mr. Farwell faces a minimum of life imprisonment. The maximum penalty under this statute um, as charged is a sentence of death. And whether to seek the death penalty in a federal case is decided at the highest levels of the Department of Justice. This, this case about what went wrong for Sandra Birchmore and how she was treated by Matthew Farwell and um, how he violated her rights and ultimately killed her. That's what this case is about. It's not about what happens at other state agencies. This is about justice for Sandra Birchmore. This is the second major death investigation where your office has come to a different conclusion than Norfolk County DA. I'm sure you can't comment on that, but is that normal for federal prosecutors and state prosecutors to reach different conclusions on investigations? So I'm here to talk about one case. We've got about a thousand cases in the office. I'm not going to comment on any other case in the office that matches this. Sorry. That's okay. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm not in a position to comment on things that are in the public record. That, I wouldn't take that as yes or no. Um, but I, I'm, I'm limited up here under local rules to talk about what's in the public record. Before your agency got involved, there were other agencies investigating this. Can we expect to see any fallout for, from those lead investigators from other agencies? Um, you know, I think the juncture we're at right now is that we are working with state agencies. We've developed, as I said, new information that we're going to share with, with our state partners. They're going to make decisions about what charges are appropriate under, under state law, if any. You've said that you're not, um, you're looking just into the fact that Santa Birchmore's death, but the focus of this case, not what law enforcement agencies prior to you did. Is that within your jurisdiction to investigate what those state agencies did? I think what I said was I'm here to talk about Sandra Birchmore, and I'm not here to talk about other things that are happening in the United States Attorney's Office. How unusual is it for a police officer to be charged with a capital offense involving sex with a minor? Um, it's, it's, it's unusual in my experience. I don't, I don't have a, a full handle on how often this has been done nationwide, but it's an unusual situation, It's and, and that's... Uh, partly why it's so incredibly disturbing.